Welcome everyone, Adam the Wu here. Today's adventure brings us to Pasadena, California, a little community where four decades ago, John Carpenter created one of the most iconic horror films of all time. So what better place to celebrate the anniversary? Join me. Shall you? No idea what could be inside this closet. Let me open the door. Now that I have my wristband, I have been redirected to get in this very lengthy line to enter the convention center. What's going on here? Captain Kirk's vacated. Okay, so it's Michael holding Kirk. Got it. A little bit lengthier than I expected. Oh, hello. The line's a little bit longer than I expected. Goes way down that direction. Don't make eye contact. It's mean mugging me, just like staring right into my soul. They're everywhere. They're, they're everywhere. Some with their heads off, all shapes, no pun intended, and sizes. Seriously though, look at the sheer amount of people waiting to get in here. Clearly I'm, I'm not alone. What the heck? Wasn't expecting to see you here. All right, carry on. I have acquired a spot and making my way inward. I'm sensing a theme here. Photo ops and overload of merchandise. He's holding a pumpkin. Oh, I didn't realize, didn't realize who that was. More head decor than you can shake a stick at. This one's inside a case. Oh dang, I like these. Part three is one of my favorites. There's a scarf down there. If you have a record player, you get all the soundtracks on vinyl. Special edition tiki mug. Check, check those out. I should also mention there's a lot of celebrity guests here. No pun intended. And here at the Forever Midnight booth, they have a special edition pin just for this convention. Nice. If you fancy yourself as a bit of a skater, you have some skateboards and a, there's a bloody, bloody machete down there. Am I supposed to reach my hand down in there? Do I leave a ticket or pick up a ticket? I, I, I probably should just ignore this. That's, it's a trap. On a mantle over the fireplace, this would be a nice piece of artwork to come home to. It's not terrifying in any way, shape, or form. Almost a meeting of the minds. It's like a, a mashup. I'm your boyfriend now, Nancy. So much great artwork, including this face being ripped apart from the movie Hatchet. And I really enjoy these Monster Squad posters. It's very difficult to resist spending a good chunk of cash, because, man, look at, look at some of this stuff. Some of it going very fast, and a few items sold out, like the one on the far right. That's the last one. Don't look deep into his his eyes. It's a pinata. It's a Pennywise pinata. I just want to take a baseball bat and be rid of him. She looks very cozy down in those bubbles, like a little bubble bath happening here. Some custom-made soaps. There's a finger in that one, and a pair of teeth have embedded themselves in that particular chunk. The names have to be the most clever part. The June Cleaver. See? There's a meat cleaver. Deep down in this lunchbox are some little furry recreations of the first film. Very creative. The really cool thing is how many people from all the movies and sequels and remakes are here. I've owned this book for quite some time. There's some great photos, some behind the scenes stuff, and it's including this after wrap up party. Look at all of them just, just having a good old time. The neat thing is she's the one that took that famous photograph, drinking the Dr. Pepper. Whoa, 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 watch where you're, watch where you're wielding that thing. I said, watch, I'm not pointed at me. I said, be careful. Put, put it down, put it back down by, that's where it belongs, okay. Keep on moving, just keep on moving. Keep on, I like, I like when he listens to me. A lot of knives up there, but I'm focusing on this ax that has the, the Tin Man. Is that the Tin Man? No, that's a uh, Terrifer. Well, 
the, the ones everyone want are all oh, sold man. out. Yeah. Hot commodities. I like the chainsaw there, the leather face on it. Very cool. For use on a nice steak dinner. I think that's what that's what these are for. The creature from the Black Lagoon surfing on that t-shirt. And from Futurama, we have a pin of the Slurm can. And then down here, oh yeah, Mr. T. The cereal version. Sweatshirt on the far right is amazing. Might be a little too warm to wear that, but that's that's tempting. An assortment of keychains, pins, and you've heard of air fresheners. These are scare fresheners. Seriously, that's what they say on the on the package. Are you are you staring at me? Are you making that hand motion? What did I do? No, I'm. I, I want. No, please, no. That's, that could cause a flesh wound. He's the, he has the devil's eyes. You have the, did anybody ever tell you you have the devil's eyes? Okay, I get it, you're watching me. Yeah, yeah, cool. point, point made. Hello there. If, what's this on your shoulder? Diagnosed Cheshire cat. Oh, the, the Cheshire cat. Is it Cheshire or Cheshire? I never, never, oh, what's going on over here? Hello? Oh! You seem very, you seem very hostile. Are you friendly or are you just, you're not friendly. That's what the, the head shaking no is. All right, so putting the camera up in your, in your face like this is not a good, a good call. Is he always like that? Always? Pretty much? All right, well, I didn't mean to get in your personal space. You're just like totally beefing up there. All right. I'm just gonna can I slide past you. All right, I'm just gonna move on. It's not even, it's not even the end of October, and we have Santa Krampus out here with a bloody jaw. What's in the basket? You carrying something in the basket here? Is there? Oh, there's a child. It's a child back there. I totally was not planning on seeing you here. You decided to show up anyhow. Nice little congregation of folks to. Meet Dick Warlock, who played the shape in part two. Oh, you have an unusual way of gripping that. The biggest sections of people are definitely the autograph areas. Very crowded. One of the event t-shirts and a handbag, a little tote bag right there with his face on it. I have to get a little documentation of the non-Halloween movie Outcasts. There's three of you. Stay strong. I know who's really under there. You're not fooling, you're not fooling anyone with that sheet. No one is being fooled. Look around you. Everyone knows who's under the sheet. Just take it off. Just take it off. Okay, now I'm very confused. I may have been wrong. Maybe I don't know who's under there. This is, this is throwing a monkey wrench in the whole thing. Wait, are you gonna take the mask off? Are you gonna reveal? Spoiler alert, it's you! The sheer magnitude of people. Watch out, don't let this guy cut in line. He's trying to cut, he's trying to cut. You trying to cut in line? What are you carrying around in the backpack? Is there something I should know of? Oh, you're gonna show me? Just asking a hypothetical. Oh, it's a computer with, a, your, own, <laughs> with your own vinyl sticker on there. Nicely done. Is it? Oh, it's not a computer. What is that? It's an iPad. You're a firm believer in Apple products? Good to know. Who all you got on here? So I just got James Jude Courtney. This was on Wednesday at Kimmel with Jamie Lee Curtis. Nice. And Ken, Kevin Forhey. Ken Forey. Ken Forey. Ken Forey, who was in the Rob Zombie. And then I got Daniel Harris. Nice. And you got then, a little splash of blood there. Yep. And then little, if I turn it to this side, I also got... Oh, a whole slash of blood. Malcolm McDowell. Nice. Scout Taylor Compton. So you're going full Rob Zombie remake version. Yep. Being a fan of old school NES. Contra, I played so many times. Here's a little rehash with Arnold and Stallone and the Predator.
That's right. I have to admit, I'm not 100% sure on what exactly those are. They already have been sold out. Those are the last ones put on hold by people who paid that amount of money for those. They look like phone cases. They're not, but wow. Some pricey artwork. Training the youth. You have to be a good role model. That's the vibe I'm, I'm picking up. Ooh. Teaching him well. Oh, he's <laughs> christening him. Michael, get out of my room. No, don't get, get me. Him. Get him, get him. Get out of my room. No, stay away get from him. me. Stay, get stay him. back. Get him. Stay back. You must protect your family. Can you see? Can you see in that thing? Get him. You don't even have a weapon. There's not even a knife. What are you going to do? Oh, he's gonna For real, you. what are you going to do? You're going to like bite my kneecap? You're not even looking. You're not even looking in the right direction. They're duplicating. They're like gremlins. I wonder if you get them wet if they just keep multiplying. They're, they're freaking everywhere. Never in all my life have I seen so many Michael Myers just wandering around. He's got a duff. Okay, that got awkward. As I slumber this evening, that's gonna be in my head on repeat was starting to feel a little left out, so I have purchased my own mask. Wait a second, I'm, I'm one of you. This is like a, a win in Rome moment. Kind of difficult to breathe in this thing, I gotta be honest. Serious photo ops going down right now. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> you're going. You're going all the different age groups. <laughs> nice.
ended up getting that item I looked at earlier from the booth of London 1888. I will sport that very nicely as well as this t-shirt from T No Evil Zany Zombie Shirts and a pretty cool sticker similar to the NES logo. Not a bad haul. A horror haul. That's gonna do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe. By doing so, helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future endeavors, adventures I will be going on, as well as uploads on this channel. If you enjoyed this particular episode, diving deep into the fandom of the Halloween movie series experience, not just the first one, but the sequels, the remakes, and the whole conglomeration of all of it. Give it a thumbs up. It lets me know you care. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. So that wasn't that long ago. Uh, like 16, 16, 16? Oh, it's this guy. I know who you are.